Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today's video has been a very long time coming because today we are going to be taking a look at every single bra from NYX, talking about the differences between them, the sizes they go up to, how they fit, how they look under clothes, literally everything to help you decide which bras you might want to try from NYX. Now I have an entire page of notes basically talking about every single different bra. If I miss talking about anything in the video, I will include a little bit of extra information down in the description box. And because we are trying so many different bras today, I am going to put the size that I wear in each individual bra down in the description box as well, along with a link to that particular bra so that you can find them. NYX sizing for bras, in my opinion, is a little bit weird. I do wear a different size in a few of the different bras. They do have a size guide on their website for every single bra, so I will also link to that down in the description box. And I do recommend following that if this is your first time trying a bra from NYX. And on each individual page, you can also just put in your usual bra size and it will spit out your recommended size in that bra. Now I am a NYX ambassador, so I will also have a discount code for you down in the description box. You can use that on purchases over $100 to save yourself a little bit of money. Please never feel like you have to use that coupon code. I do earn a small commission if you use it, but I absolutely understand if that makes you uncomfortable. And if you do use it, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now a tiny bit of general information about NYX bras before we get into looking at each individual one. Every single one of NYX's bras is wire free. There is not a single bra that has an underwire. So if you are dead set on having an underwire in your bra, unfortunately NYX bras are not going to be for you. Now on the opposite side, if you don't love an underwire and you want a super comfortable bra, I do think that they have some amazing options. The second thing, I don't think that there is an objective best bra. I don't think it's possible to say that because everybody's body is different, our boobs are different, our shoulders are different. There's not going to be one thing that works best for everybody, but at the end of this video I will go over what my absolute favorite bras are and I'll mention them like as we go through. But with that being said, NYX does have an incredible return policy where you can literally cut the tags off wear a bra for a couple of days before you make your decision if you're going to keep it or not. And they do that because all of their bras, because they're wireless, fit slightly tight when you get them. So if you get a bra, it feels a little bit tight. I would recommend not freaking out, wear it for a day or two before you make your decision. And if at the end you're still not sure you want to return it and maybe exchange, you don't know what size to get, you can message with NYX and have a fit expert tell you like based on what feels tight, like if the band felt a little tight, they can recommend another size for you. And overall, I just think NYX is a really incredible company. So I do recommend checking them out. My personal favorite thing from NYX is their pajamas. Their modal pajamas are incredible and also the good to go bra and revolution bra which we will get to those soon. Now I am going to use chapters. You can skip ahead if there's a specific bra that you want to see or if you want to revisit a specific bra. We are going to go in order that they are listed as of filming on the website but like I said I will have links to absolutely everything down below and with that let's get right into it with our very first bra the wing woman contour bra. Now this is definitely one of the best sellers at NYX and I understand why I do really love this bra. This one has molded cups and like a completely molded foam long line piece as well. So underneath this little top fabric layer is a completely molded bra. It feels really, really good on and provides a lot of support. Now I usually wear a 34 double D and I feel like I have incredible support in this bra and it is comfortable enough that I can wear it all day long. This one does have adjustable straps. It has a nice wide band and it also has extra panels on the side to prevent any side boob or spillage out the sides, which can be really good, especially if you're a little bit wider set. I know I personally sometimes struggle with the side boob. This one 
obviously does have a deeper V in the front, so you can still wear it under a lower cut shirt. And I do personally feel like this one gives me pretty good lift without being uncomfortable in any way. I would consider it to be like an everyday bra that I would wear to work under like work blouses. And this one also goes up to a 42G, basically the equivalent, NYX sizing equivalent of a 42G. So it does have quite a nice size range as well. And I do also want to try each of these bras with just a regular t-shirt. I think there are some bras that only look good under very specific tops. So this t-shirt is super tight and it will show us kind of what the bras look like under clothes. I am going to take off my earrings though because they are just going to get in the way of this. So as you can see under like a skin tight t-shirt, I personally have this issue where the bottom band sticks out just a tiny bit so you can see it a little. Other than that though, I do think that it looks really good over the bust. I don't look like I have uniboob. It very much looks like I have two different boobs. And the back, I definitely have like a little bit of back fat sticking over the band. That's going to happen because I have fat on my back. <laughs> but overall, I do think that this one looks good under clothes and this is a great bra in my opinion. Now next up, we have one of the newest bras from NYX and that is their Revolution bra. Now this bra goes up to a 44H. So definitely lots of size options in this one. And I just feel like it is constructed in a really cool way. So obviously this one features quite a deep V, which means that you can wear it under a lot of clothes, which we will get to a couple NYX bras that are much more high in the front if you don't like such a deep V. The fabric on this is incredibly smooth, like super, super stretchy fabric, but I still personally feel like this one gives me really, really good support, especially for being like what is essentially supposed to be an everyday bra. But I still feel like this one gives me a great level of support, which I really appreciate. This one does have adjustable straps. The band on this one is slightly thinner than the last, but it's still thick enough that it's not digging in. And this one does also have removable padding. So if you want something that is like fully unlined, you can take that padding out. If you want those in there just to provide you with a little bit of protection from any nip showing when you get cold, you can keep it in. This bra, in my opinion, is the best one for literally wearing every day under anything. This is the bra that I reach for if I'm like going out with friends, going to work, because I feel like it is super comfortable, feels good all day. I sometimes personally find that bras that are a little bit too long line, if you wear them all day, especially if you're sitting and you're kind of like bent over, they end up digging into my rib cage. So I do sometimes find that with the wing woman bra and some of the other more long line options, if I'm wearing them like for 12 hours or more. This one is not like that and I never get that. It's super comfy all day long and definitely one of my favorites that I would recommend. And under clothing, this is one of the ones that I find to be completely seamless. You can't tell like where anything is. I do once again still have like fat at the back, but I'm going to have that in pretty much all of them. There's one that I can think of I probably won't, but this one looks super smooth under clothes. It looks great under a V-neck of any kind and over it's just an amazing bra. Now next up we have the Lux Lift Pullover Bra and this was my favorite NYX bra for a very long time and still definitely in my top three. This bra is completely seamless. It has absolutely no hardware of any kind but that also means that it has no adjustments. So it's definitely important to get your correct size. I currently wear a medium plus I believe in this bra and that fits me perfectly at a 34 double D. It's super comfortable. I have lots of space in the cup area. And I do think that this bra looks absolutely incredible under like a t-shirt as an everyday bra option. This to me is the bra that if it is the weekend and I'm just going to the grocery store, this is the one I'm wearing. If I'm at home on the weekend and I'm like expecting a friend to come over for a little bit, this is the bra I will have on. It's that super, super comfy everyday bra that you can wear like indefinitely. Like like I've fallen asleep with this bra on before because it's so comfy. Now, one thing I do want to mention with this, the first time I got this bra, I 
hated it. Absolutely hated it. And then I tried it again like a few months later in the exact same size but just gave it a fair chance and I love it. When you first get this bra and put it on, first off even just when you hold it up, it's going to look too small and when you put it on it's going to feel too tight for 20-30 minutes at least. You've got to leave it on, like keep it on for an hour or two and then see how you feel about it. But it is a very great bra. It is easily my most worn bra out of every single one I have and probably the one that I will put back on to edit this video because it's just the comfiest one that I own. And because this bra is so seamless, I do think that it is the absolute best one for wearing under like a very tight t-shirt, especially one that has a little higher of a neckline or like a bodycon dress. Now I do feel like it minimizes my chest a little bit, but I have pretty big boobs and I'm actually a-okay with that, especially in t-shirts. Like I don't always need the Zongas. And I feel like this one also looks really good from the back because it's just like a one big seamless piece at the back. It really flattens out any back fat. So I think that it looks amazing under tighter tops and overall is just one of my top picks for sure. Next up, we have one of the few bras that I don't love for me, but I do think that other people will like this one. And that is the Shadow Mesh bra. So this bra obviously has like a very deep V with a little piece of this like super stretchy, it's called power mesh in the center here. So it gives you a really cute like peekaboo of cleavage. But for me, like that just doesn't seem very practical under clothing necessarily. Like I literally still have the tag on this one because I do think I'm going to gift it to like a family member or friend because it's just not for me. But I personally find the straps really, really Really dig in on me especially like right here at the front it also does have a much thinner band than a lot of the other styles which I find digs in at the back a decent amount and I do want to say like I left the tag on but I've worn this bra for at least a couple of hours now and it's just not super comfortable for me so at this point I don't think it's going to get super comfortable the bottom also has this tendency to like fold under my boobs so I think that maybe this one might be better if you have a slightly smaller chest. Maybe that's just me, but for me it feels like it's not giving me enough support. It's just yanking on my shoulders and it's also folding underneath. So it's not my personal favorite. Now I will say that I like that this one is seamless, similar to the last bra. Now obviously it does still have hardware that can dig into and be slightly uncomfortable and the straps are still not super comfortable to me even though they are like a nice seamless strap. And this mesh is not scratchy in any way. It's like super, super soft. So if you love the look of the mesh, I would still recommend giving this one a try. It's definitely not in the top three for me. And as you can see under like a super tight t-shirt, I do think it looks fine. You can't see where that mesh is at all, even though it is definitely like pressing against the front of the shirt. I think it looks fine. It's just not the most comfortable bra I own. And when I have so many comfy options, I'm gonna reach for those ones instead. Now, next up we have another bra that is definitely in my top three and that is the good to go seamless bra. Now this is made with their bliss fit fabric which is the same fabric used in their bliss fit nursing bras which I have never given birth so I do not have one of those but it is this exact same material if you're interested in those. It is this like super stretchy knit material that is so unbelievably soft. This bra is very similar to the Lux Lift, one that I would wear chilling in my house, going grocery shopping. Like I would wear this to work too, but it is comfortable enough that I would wear it just hanging out in my house. Like I have literally changed into pajamas and left this on, like forgetting that I have it on. It is really comfy. It has adjustable straps. It has a nice thick band. And in my opinion, this is one of the better options for big boobs. It offers a lot of shaping. It offers support while still being super comfortable. And it also comes over far enough on the sides to prevent side boob, which once again, I really appreciate. And it comes up far enough on the top to prevent anything from spilling out the top. So this is like one of my absolute staple bras that I wear multiple times a week. And I have this one and the Lux Lift and the Revolution bra in multiple colors, if that tells you anything about where this is going. <laughs> this one also looks really good under clothes. And I know that this part feels repetitive, but there are a few that 
in my opinion, don't look quite as good, which is why I want to show this as well. I do think that under a very tight shirt, you would be able to see a little bit of the hardware on this one because it does have adjustable straps that adjust from the front. I think is brilliant because if you're wearing the bra, you can just adjust it yourself super easily without having to like contort your arms, but you might be able to notice that. I don't personally care because this bra is so comfortable that I would be willing to give up pretty much anything to wear it. Now, next up, we have three different NYX lace options. And this one, you might be saying like, where's the lace? It is at the back. And one of the benefits of the NYX lace is supposed to be that it is like a super soft lace. Now on this one, it's not touching me, so I can't really speak to that, but we will speak to it in the next two. Now this bra is meant to be like a very light support, cute racer back moment with the lace. And all of the lace bras are really meant to be like pretty versus very high support. Now this one did come with removable cups, but I took them out and they're long since lost. I literally never wear them with the cups. So it is like completely unlined in here now. If you're worried about your nip showing through, I would recommend wearing pasties or something under it still or keeping the removable cups in. But I personally just liked the way that it looked on me with them taken out versus in. And I do want you to remember that like there's no support in this bra. Things are like sitting where they usually sit for me and I don't have like any support holding them up. So if you are looking for support, I would go with one of the other options that we've talked about, not this one. But if you just want something cute, like this is cute. And this bra is one of the first ones that I think looks a little bit weird under like a very tight shirt. I feel like my boobs are slightly too big for this bra. So I just get like some weird bunching on the sides. I think things look like really, really flattened out a lot more than they have in like any of the other bras yet. Because the bra isn't lifting things, things. It's just like squishing them flat against my chest, which is fine. And if you like that and you like a racer back bra, this could still be a good option for you. But for me, it's definitely not my favorite. Next, we have one of my least favorite bras. And that is the Lace Deep V Bralette. Now, when I first got this, I remember making a video and I loved how it looked. And I still do like how it looks, but it just does not work for me. Now, this bra only goes up to a 40 double D, which is not very big. <laughs> I feel like it just fits kind of awkwardly. First big thing, I have a ton of side boob out the side in this and it just like doesn't feel like it fits properly in the front there's a bunch of like random extra space right here and if I pull back like the little lace cover I feel like you can really see that like you can just see like right in the sides it's not sitting like flush against my chest and the straps and the band are both these super tiny little skinny things and it really feels like this bra was meant for cuteness over actually being like a good wearable bra to me. And I'm sure that there are people that have tried this and absolutely love it. I'm just not one of them. I think you would need a much smaller chest to like this. I also personally find that the lace on this one, despite it being called like soft lace, is scratchy AF. <laughs> it's constantly scratching me, not so much at the front, but at the back. So everywhere that it's touching me on my back, it just feels like it's scratching and being really rough the whole time. And it makes me want to take this one off immediately. And I don't know how easy this will be to see on camera, but in person, this one is just making my boobs look lumpy because there's a molded cup made of foam and then there's like sewn in right in the center lace that's just like an overlay. So it kind of bunches up, it gets kind of bumpy looking. And just in general, I feel like this one does not look that good and also doesn't feel good. So this is one that will probably go in a donate pile. And if somebody wants to buy it at Value Village, they can because it's not my favorite. My camera battery died, so it is significantly later in the day now, but we are back. And this time we have the Lace Longline Bra. In my memory, this one was so similar to that Lace V bralette that we just had on. In actually trying it on, it feels very different 
different and I do think that this one is better. If you like the look of the lace, I would recommend this one over the other one. So this one obviously still has quite a deep V at the front. It has a long line with lace coming down, but this one I feel like the lace is a lot less scratchy on. It still is a tiny bit, I'm not going to lie, especially right at the edge of the seams where there's like elastic on one side and lace on the other. Right at the bottom, you can kind of feel just a little scratch from the lace, but this one is actually sitting against my chest and fitting me properly, so I definitely think it's an improvement over the last one. I do really like how this one looks. I think it is beautiful. It has a very, very thick set of clasps. I think there's like six different rows. It definitely is going to be smoothing across the back, and I don't think you're going to have like fat rolls with this one underneath clothes. I guess we'll see, but this one does have foam cups and the long line. I do think wearing this one for a super long time might get slightly uncomfortable, but this one as like lingerie for a date night that you wear when you're just going out for dinner and then you wear afterwards, I think that's where this one would shine. It's very cute, it's a little bit sexy, and I do like this one a lot better than that deep V bralette. And under clothing, this one is definitely a little bit less lumpy than that last lace option, but it still is not completely smooth because it is lace, it is textured. Under something thin especially, you're definitely going to see that. And I do think that it looks good from the back because that band is so wide. Overall, I wouldn't wear this one as an everyday bra necessarily, but I would definitely wear it for a special event or for just like a sexy lingerie. Now next up we have the Evolution bra. Now this is an unpadded bra that is designed to have a higher neckline to prevent any like spillage out the top and arguably its coolest feature, it is 100% reversible. You just unhook the straps, you take them off completely and then whatever the inside color is, so in this case dark purple, you get that set of straps as well so that you can easily completely wear it reversible and wear it either way. Now in my opinion, I don't really see a need for a reversible bra in my life. I do like to have a couple like fun pattern bras that I can wear under like darker clothes and then I'll get a couple lighter, more neutral colored bras to wear under light stuff. I don't necessarily need one bra that does both. I would rather just have like a couple different bras to choose from. From. However, where that strap removal might come in handy, I think is breastfeeding. If you just really like the fit and feel of this bra and you wanna be able to just quickly open the strap, take it down and then put it back up. I personally also have a problem with this bra where if I do a lot of like moving around, the bottom part tends to flip up and then show the other color. Doesn't necessarily matter. Obviously I'm going to have it on under clothes, but it just bothers me a little bit. Overall, I do feel like this one is quite comfortable I do still have the tag on it because I don't love this one. It's just there's something about it that is not as comfortable for me and my shape as some of the other bras that we've mentioned so I just don't find myself reaching for it. And under clothes I feel like this one does flatten me out just a little bit. It's definitely pushing like in versus pushing out up and providing lift. So for me, I just prefer something that gives me like a little bit of lift or is super comfortable. And I feel like this one doesn't provide lift and it's not as comfortable. So it's just not something that I'm personally going to reach for, but it could be a great bra for you. Next up, we have the padded V-neck bra and I am personally wearing the wide strap variation, but you can also get a thin strap variation of this exact same bra. As somebody with a larger chest, thin straps are the bane of my existence so I have never even purchased that one, but it is the exact same bra, just with a different strap. Now this one, I do feel like provides me with a little bit more support than some of the other ones that we've looked at. It feels good, it feels comfortable. The straps, like I said, are nice and wide, so I do feel like they're not digging into me, and the band is a little bit wider than some of the other options, which feels good. My thing with this one, it kind of reminds me of the Revolution bra in terms of the style. The fabric is like that same really smooth stretchy fabric but the Revolution bra is a little bit deeper of a V and fits me just like a touch more comfortably. So I personally feel like I wouldn't get this one. I would just get the Revolution bra instead. However, I do wear this bra. I'm not mad at this bra. I feel like it fits comfy and it looks fine. And this bra does have removable padding which in this case I have left it in. And I think that this one looks fine under a 
tight t-shirt. I don't feel like I have uniboob. It feels like things are separated, lifted, and look good. I definitely don't look like I'm squished completely flat, which is nice. And overall, this one is a good bra option. I just personally like the Revolution bra if you're going for this style a little bit more. And next up we have the Lux Modal pullover bra. This bra, similar to the Lux Lift pullover bra, completely hardware free, super comfy, meant to just be like a chill everyday bra that you would wear while you're like relaxing. The biggest difference between this and the Lux Lift is the Lux Lift actually provides lift, as it says in the name, and it provides support. This one does not. This is basically just a bra that you would put on to say that you have a bra on. I don't personally find that I reach for this because if I'm going to wear a bra, I want something with at least like a little bit of support. And this one does not. It has absolutely nothing in terms of support. As you can see, the fabric is just super stretchy. And even as I stretch the straps, like my boob is barely moving because it, they're not providing anything. <laughs> so everything is just sitting as it sits. There's absolutely no support. The fabric on this is incredibly soft soft. So if you just want something super, super soft and you hate the feeling of wearing a bra, this could be a good option for you. It does have this elastic at the bottom that has little peekaboo mesh sections. This is just me being very picky. I am a little bit sensitive to different fabrics like rubbing on me all day. I get really frustrated by it and I get overwhelmed and I just want to take them off. And I do feel like this elastic with those little mesh pieces sometimes after wearing this for a while just rubs a little too much on the sides of my ribs and I have to take it off. So if you are also somebody that is bothered by fabric, keep that in mind. Otherwise, this is a fine a bra if you're just gonna wear it for hanging out. And under a shirt, this looks like I'm not wearing a bra because I'm basically not. Things are sitting where they sit and it does have like a little bit of line here where that bottom elastic part is because it is a little bit thicker at the seam. But other than that, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad, but it's not providing anything that I am looking for in a bra. And those were all of the everyday bras. And I am not going to talk about every sports bra today. If you are interested in learning about every sports bra, let me know and I can create one of these like deep dive into those. It should be shorter because there are far fewer sports bras. However, I do want to talk about what I would consider to be their most interesting sports bra, which is the Catalyst. Now it comes in two different styles and I have both. There's one that is a zip front and then there is also this other one that just has clasps at the back and this zip front also has the clasps. One without the zip does not come in quite the same size range as this zip up one and I personally also found the traditional one not as comfortable as the zip up one. So I'm just going to talk about this one today. If you want more of a comparison, let me know. But this bra goes up to a 42H. It is the highest impact bra I have ever tried in my entire life. Nothing moves anywhere. Things are pinned down, strapped in. It fits super comfy. With the crisscross straps, you can do like literally any activity and they're not getting in the way of your arms, which for a workout is amazing. I went to a NYX event in this bra that was like a carnival dance, learning how to do a whole bunch of the different dances event in Toronto. And we were bouncing around for literally two hours straight, jumping, spinning, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And I felt completely secure, nothing was moving. And there were women with significantly bigger breasts than me who had the same experience there. And we were all strapped down. So if you have tiggle bitties, this is a great sports bra. And I really recommend this zip front one because when you are sore and tired, after a workout, you can literally just zip it off and throw it off the back. Super easy and this locks in place. So I've never experienced it coming down at all, even in like a crazy workout. And with that, those are all the bras from NYX. And of course, it's time to talk about my top three bras. If you've watched this whole video, you already know what's coming. And these are in no particular order because I wear them for different things. But one is the Revolution bra. I feel like this is just the best bra for wearing to work wearing under low cut tops. It looks really good. It provides shaping and lift while still being comfy enough that you can wear it all day long. The Lux Lift Pullover Bra, my favorite bra for wearing under a t-shirt or just wearing if you're lounging around the house. Great shaping, good lift, while also just being so freaking comfortable. But remember, it's important to get the correct size in this because otherwise it's not going to provide as much lift and support. And the Good To Go Seamless Bra, a great choice 
choice for bigger boobs that might spill out the sides a little bit, but you still want like super soft comfort. This is one of the comfiest bras for wearing for a really long time. You could wear this all day for 12 plus hours and it will be just as comfortable at the end of the day. Now we went over a lot of information in this video. If you have absolutely any questions, be sure to let me know. I'm happy to answer them down in the comments section. And like I said, if you do want a deep dive into sports bras from NYX specifically, I can talk to those as well. I do have all of those. Now, as I said before, I feel like bras are so deeply personal that you might want to try a couple different ones and then keep the ones that are your favorite. And the only bra that I really would not recommend at all from NYX, truly the one and only one is the Deep V Lace Bralette. I just feel like it wasn't crafted to the same level of the other NYX bras. All of the other ones, when you hold on to them and you try them on, they feel very high quality, they feel well constructed, and the Lace Deep V one doesn't feel like that. But remember that the lace long line <laughs> bra does feel good. It's literally just that one bra. Now, my voice is running out from talking so much. I think I've been filming for close to two hours, so hopefully I can shorten this down for you. If you have watched this whole video, thank you very much. I know that it can be a slog to get through something this long, but I really hope that you learned something and that you enjoyed the video. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an incredible week and that I will see you next time. Bye!